everyone, welcome to part 4 of my custom star system evolution. So, welcome to another game video on Penguin Film Productions. If you enjoyed this type of content, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more. I also do plus reviews as well, if you like those. So, as you can see, this system has changed. But this is our plan called Little Miracle, and as you can see, it's doing pretty well. As you can see, if you can notice by the trails, look, this gas joint has moons. Yep, I gave it moons. This one has ice and an atmosphere as well. But here's the little miracle planet, and here's its little moon. So small. And you can notice with the planet, it's doing pretty well. Its habitability is not the highest, but as you can see, it has some lights. And check that out, it has vegetation. And city lights. So, it's small, but very habitable. But the planet is starting to age. Yep, its CO2 levels are going down as it ages. It still has life. And therefore, the star is also aging as well. So, like that, yeah, its radius is starting to go up quite a bit. So yeah, the luminosity is also starting to get high as it gets older. Yeah, so sorry for all this lag. As you can see, the gas giant is starting to enter the habitable zone. Red giant face will start to. Uh oh. Sorry for the game freezing up. I'm so sorry for that. As you can see, the little miracle plant is starting to get hot. Pretty hot now. Yeah, we're going to give the other planet's name as well. So for this one, asteroid. <laughs> Why did I put the S? But this one's going to be called asteroid because it keeps capturing so many asteroids. This one's gonna be called Small Genius. Copycat. This one's gonna be called Earthly misfortune. This 
this was gonna be cool. Fail. Half. So yeah, it's still getting pretty hard. Yeah, it's also starting to get older, as you can see. Wait, what is the temperature? 60, oh yeah, about 65 degrees Celsius. There's not really any vegetation. Except up here. Unfortunately, yeah, it's days of habitability are coming to a close. Carbon dioxide levels also drop even more. This also causes the oxygen levels. Yeah, it's also causing the oxygen levels to drop as well. It's starting to lose its habitability. I'm so sorry for all the freezing up, but... Yeah... My laptop is pretty old, it's not the best. I'm hoping to get a new one one day. But 
Yeah, it's starting to get really hot. Still that runaway greenhouse effect has in cave. Yeah. But as you can see, its temperature is starting to rise. So it does lower a little bit. And it's per hue. But now it's like leaving the habitable zone. Its luminosity is also starting to get even higher now. It's also... Also its rotational period is starting to slow down. A lot. This is an aging star, pretty much in its late main sequence phase of right now, pushing Low Miracle outside the habitable zone. The only one that's left in the habitable zone is the gas giant at the very start. As you can see with a little miracle, yeah, its temperature is rising. This used to be very cold and now it's getting super hot. But the star hasn't yet to reach its final stage. And as you can see, now its temperature is reaching 100 degrees Celsius, so the atmosphere is starting to get thicker. Yeah, it's... There goes Little Miracle. It's on its way out. It's basically becoming a Venus-like world now. Yeah, and as you can see, the temperature is starting to rise a lot. As well as its age. So basically, it's now starting to become... It's almost on the point of being a sub-giant. With its luminosity higher. Yeah, the system is starting to become uninhabitable.
Yeah, the atmosphere is starting to become super dead. There's hard you can hardly see anything left. Yeah, it's basically on its way out already. These planets are now getting super hot now. So Fail Halfling is currently the hardest one. What temperature is at the gas giant? Wow, it's actually starting to get... Yeah, it's starting to get warmer. <laughs> Still, the system is doing really well. It's the temperature on the moon. So here's its moon. What's its temperature? Yeah, even its moon is starting to get super hot. The city lights are gone. Yeah, the era of habitable planets is coming to an end. It's basically all over now. This one's actually the hottest one now. Look at it. This one is tightly locked, so... Yeah. That was not having the best time. And I don't think it has much time left. I think only these two are gonna survive. Everything else is probably just gonna get straight up consumed. Okay, for this next part, we are gonna have to get rid of the moons. So goodbye. Because eventually during the red giant phase, it'll start to lose mass, so that will cause the planets to migrate. But as you can see, the game doesn't simulate that really well when you have moons, so yeah, unfortunately we have to say goodbye to the moons. So now with all the moons deleted, and not much hydrogen left. The final phase of the star's life is starting. We're now entering the point where the star has exhausted all of its hydrogen fuel.
Yep, so as you can see, it is starting to get harder now. Because now it's technically in the red joint. Yep. So as you can see, it's aged up a lot. As you can see, none of the plants are unhappy. Stars finally starting to die. And as you can see, the plants are starting to get super hot now. Their temperature is rising. Oh, and this one's catching up as well. Starting to rise. Wow, even the gas joint is so hot now. This is basically game over for all the planets. With its temperature going up, the star is finally starting to die. Yeah. Yep, with the temperature going up. It's starting to die, yeah. Yeah, it's starting to get super hot, and if we add the habitable ring, look. It's all the way out here. And there is fragments coming off, probably from all the plants that have atmospheres. Yeah, they're all getting so hot right now. What happened to the little miracle world? Where did your atmosphere go? It had like a super thick one, and now where is it? It's losing its atmosphere. Is it because all the solar wind? Hang on, let's try to go nearby. Oh, that's not it. Oh, there we are. So this one has an atmosphere. Yeah. This... Yeah, it's slowly losing its atmosphere. Wow, the star looks so big all the way here. This one still retains its atmosphere. What? Weren't they shooting off fragments? I don't know what's going on, but... 
This is the closest one. Oh, that's not it. There it is. This side is just scorched. If we land on it, how does it look? Wow, it looks so big from here. Yep, there it goes. System is starting to die. It's now looking like this. There's a little miracle planet. There's the asteroid kidnapper. Oh my goodness, now it's so big. So as you can see, it's so big. Everything getting super hot now. Oh, there's fragments shooting off from the plants with atmospheres. Oh my goodness, it's right there. I just don't want to make sure it gets... I just want to make sure it doesn't get... To the light, or else it'll just die. Boom, there it goes. So yep, it's getting bigger, everything is starting to die. So that's the first plan to get eaten up. Oh, that one, that one lost its atmosphere. This one still has it. They all still have their atmospheres, but failed happily. That one lost it's pretty much its atmosphere completely. Oh my goodness, look at their temperatures. Like, yeah. I think we're just gonna make it just a little bit bigger. Oh, it just destroyed another planet. But as you can see, it just destroyed another planet. How is this one still holding on to its atmosphere, but now its temperature is extremely high? They're all super hot right now. <laughs> yep. So there we go.
so there it is. There's a little miracle. And it will be a miracle if it survives, which I'm pretty sure it will. If I remember correctly, their orbits do expand a little bit. Yeah, if I remember, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Their orbits will expand a little bit. Yeah, we are gonna slow down time, because if I remember... It's just gonna... The asteroid kidnapper is just gonna start eating stuff once it migrates that. Now it's about 3 AU away. And for the small Venus copycat, this one's also going to move a little bit as well. Finally, with the Earthly Misfortune, also going to migrate just... Just a little bit. And now there's a phase where it starts to... Shrink. So basically it's going to become what's called a red clump. As you can see, yeah, it does shrink, so now it's a red clump. And it did spare these planets. But besides that, yeah. Oh, it looks like the little miracle planet has been, like, pretty much stripped of its atmosphere. That one lost its atmosphere. These two are surprisingly holding on to their atmospheres. I am amazed. But they still have to survive the final phase. And what is that final phase? That one is the AGB state. It's going to start expanding once again. So as you can see, the star is expanding once again.
with this luminosity going up a lot. I don't know if I can make it any bigger. But there's earthly misfortune. Right there. Very small. Now as you can see the temperatures have rise significantly. Earthly misfortune just right there. Literally right around the point of being eaten. But it does migrate one last time. So it's on the point of dying. As you can see, they're starting to move away from the stars. And there's a little miracle right there. Hanging on. There's the asteroid kidnapper. Also on the point of dying, but not really. It's actually going to survive. As you can see, it's migrated a lot as well. It's radius is starting to go up. So yep, now it's beyond one AU. And with its temperature. Reaching an impressively high. Temperature. Where is the habitable zone? <laughs> like, where is its habitable zone? It's all the way out here. That means. That means that for Earth to be habitable, we have to put it all the way over here, I'm pretty sure. That's just crazy, yeah. But as you can see, the plants are also starting to die. So they're still migrating. Still migrating one last time.
So as you can see, they're now pretty far away from the store. But now it's the grand finale. Yep. Yep, with its luminosity starting to go down. It's getting smaller and smaller, but now... As you can see, it's now become a hot and dense white dwarf. And its mass and finally we're gonna all the warp it. So now it's all the orbiting time. These two are the survivors. And I think we can now clear the fragments. Oh. But these are the two plants that survived. Yep, they survived all the chaos. Little Miracle survives along with Asteroid King. The star is starting to slowly cool down. Yep, the star slowly begins to cool down with no fuel. To the point where it cools down completely to a white uh, black door. And as a result, Asteroid Kidnapper is ejected from the system. With little miracles still hanging on.
but eventually, after a very long time, As a result, we're at distances. He might just eventually come by. Yep. Boom Miracle still hanging on. Ooh, the stars for you. It's been a very long time. As you can see, with all the stars dead, and this planet left, it eventually collides. But that won't do much. Eventually, at some point, the star cools down entirely. And after this point, it dies. And that's the end of the Sunlight Star System. But anyways, if you enjoyed this series, make sure you like this video. Also subscribe to the channel for more stuff like this as well as plus videos, among us, more gaming videos. I'll see you next time.